Hey guys, uh, look, this truck is a little bit different to the last one we just did a build video on. This one is insane. It's pretty much the coolest thing Pro Touring Concepts have ever done. It's a new model, Fuso Cantar four-wheel drive truck, obviously. It's it's running on 37-inch tyres, uh, standard. I think Ben is still putting a lift kit in this, actually, through a mob up in North Queensland. Um, it's uh, Zunker Fabrications in North Queensland. They've done all the all the um, aluminium work for this thing. And I think he's already got another few um, canopies on the go up there uh, for trucks like this. Um, it's a bit of a trendsetter at the moment. It's turning a few heads driving this thing around, but. Um, on the roof, we've got six 160 watt solar panels, so three solar panels per canopy. It's about 480 watts, I think, yeah, 480 watts per canopy, and they're both going into the Anadrive charging system. So, for our part of it, um, we've got basically three 120 amp hour AGMs, all century, um, two. 40 amp DC to DC charges in parallel. We wanted to, we went with parallel because we wanted to at least get 60 amps per canopy. So um, we at least 20 amps per, bat, per, per battery. We can up them to 80 or 100 amps per canopy once we've upgraded the alternator in the truck. So we need to upgrade the alternator. We'll get a little bit more current coming in here, but I think like yesterday as it was, I think we had about 22 amps of solar coming into each canopy, it was bloody sick. If anyone's got enough room on their canopy to put as much solar as they can, do it, because it's sick. It's unbelievable, 22 amps. It's, there's three fridges running in this canopy, there will be, and the 22 amps is gonna cover that and still charge the batteries at the same time, so. That's what you want, a, a 60 amp um, 240 volt charger as well. That's a weapon when you pull up at powered sites. If the, you've got no solar or you've isolated your solar or something like that, you can plug that in and it'll just take over. So, little 200 amp battery guard. We run them in pretty much every setup that we do. The EPRO Plus monitors shows you uh, voltage, battery percentage, temperature if you want it, time until it's flat, uh, how much charge is coming in, etc. We've gone with the um, bit of a spaceship style circuit breaker situation, fuse block, but we can essentially isolate incoming from each um, charger and outgoing. So charging, solar, accessories, everything's fused. We've got four outlet, four Anderson plugs for the fridges, color changing core lighting throughout. This headboard of the canopy is all getting sound deadened, um, insulated and panels put over the, the, the front face and the back wall. Um, and yeah, this, uh, I think he's got, I think um, there's a big trundle drawer coming out over the back. This is all getting enclosed and a big trundle drawer comes out the back. The kids all sleep on this big shelf thing. It's gonna be sick. It'll be the biggest head turner at a campground. So, coming in the back here, uh, in the front canopy and same sort of thing. We've got three 120 amp hour AGMs under here. Um, a 140 litre upright Waco on the other side and a 2000 watt inverter. I think like there's gonna be less things chewing power in here, but he's got the capacity or the, the ability to run the big inverter, crank it up, the microwave or whatever in here. So same setup, same amount of circuit breakers, 200 amp battery guard, three 180, oh, three 160 watt panels on the roof. <laughs> the truck is an absolute weapon, but yeah, I think this one's actually, it's going to the camps, uh, Cairns Camping Show, I think, uh, next weekend, actually, so. Other than that, it's still just a standard Fuso canter truck. Big fry lights bodies and a big ass winch in there as well. Um, move around this side. And here is the, the kitchen side, pretty much. We've got if you've seen these before, it's a 140 litre Dometic upright, perfect height, it's the best thing for pulling up roadside stops instead of pulling the big fridge slides down and all that, but um, Julka, hot tap, instant hot showers, it's got some um, gas to be plumbed in yet as a removable sort of system. Little slide out kitchen here, I won't even go in, it's, a, it's an insane contraption, it's so cool, he's got a little bar bench and all that sort of stuff, so. Cool, there's three, three fridges here, not all big on big drop down slides, a rear toolbox going here. I think there's like, what is there? 
Um, there's a big water tank underneath. I think there's even a fuel bowels a thing to fill up the boat in. So um, all the relocated pumps over here. Twin, it's got twin 12 volt crank batteries as well, uh, working in parallel. So it's an absolute beast. I think, yeah, you've got, you guys are gonna see a fair bit of this thing getting around. It's, I mean, not so much down on the Gold Coast, but up in North Queensland, uh, the, when the Cape is your backyard, this is the truck that you want. So cheers, Ben, thanks for that. You've, it's been an awesome, awesome job for us. Um, we're very stoked with it, so cheers, guys.